victory through the eyes. Thinking, have you ever thought of how would life be for you if you were blind? Have you already thanked God for your eyes and your ability to see? How do you use your eyes if they are from God? Functionality Our Jesus said, The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. Matthew 6, 22, 23 and KGV. In Jesus' time, they used oil lamp to get light. CF Matthew 25 verse 1 to 13. For you to have light then, you have three crucial things required. Recipient, oil, and fire. These three things are required for your eyes to become a lamp for your body. Recipient. It is an empty vessel and dedicated to receive the oil, Holy Spirit. Are you emptied of yourself for you to be able to be the Holy Spirit temple? Are you dedicated to God? For do you know not that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who are in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 1 Corinthians 6.20 Second part is oil. Oil, the spirit of prophecy, defines it as the oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Christ Object Lessons, page 406. The Holy Spirit is sanctifying us, transforming us. Apart from me, you can do nothing, as said Jesus in John 15, verse 5. The promise to us is, How much more will your Father in heaven Give the Holy Spirit to those who are asking Him. Luke 11 verse 13 Have you already asked Him? The third part is fire. Fire. It represents the presence of God. Like the burning bush in Exodus 3 verse 2 like the pillar of fire leading Israel in Exodus 13 verse 21. It is also used to purify gold. You don't need to wait to be pure to come to God. It is the presence of God that will make you pure. So light is composed of recipient, oil, and fire in Jesus' time. Recipient is empty and dedicated. Oil is sanctified and transformed. Fire is with God and in God. But wait a minute. What is the relationship of this with my eyes? Your eyes also are related to the recipient, oil and fire. Recipient. Your eyes are used to capture things like camera. If you watch anything, then you will become what you watch. Are your eyes dedicated to God like the recipient? Second part is oil. Your eyes nourish your mind and tells your brain what to do. Are your eyes sanctified to God like that oil? Like the oil? What kind of fire your eyes bring to your body? Fire. 
Your eyes are turning into your mind what you like to see and watch. Thoughts become actions. Actions become habits. Habits become our character. Our character becomes our destiny. So your eyes as a recipient captures oil and rich fire and the fire is burning our habits into our mind. The eyes is equally like a lamp because the recipient captures and is dedicated. The oil is sanctified and nourished the fire and the fire puts us on fire as we walk with God. With our eyes, it's only then that we are ready for the call. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Matthew 5 verse 14. A good eyes. And when our eyes are sanctified, we will say like the apostles, as for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Acts 4 verse 20. Our prayer is as following. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things. Psalms 109 verse 37. So, Ima, Imao, choose judiciously or wisely what you like to watch, only things that brings victory through your eyes. Amen.